All right, Avery, you want to be on a dash cam video? Oh, just for fun. All right. All right. Bailey Hollow Road. So, would you ever want to go to Villa Walsh? That's the Catholic High School on the top of the hill. The place that has the cross on top and where we went sleigh riding. Because what we can do is, I can drive you to school in the morning, put your bike in the back of my truck, drive to the top of the hill, drop you off at school, and then the next day, you can just bike home. You wouldn't even have to. You wouldn't even have to turn your pedals once. What do you think of that? You could bike home. You're basically. You would be going downhill the whole way. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you looking at me funny? Yeah. What are you talking about? Not when you're in high school, silly. You're seven right now, so in order to leave school early now, we have to write a note. But as you get older, you're not going to need a note to drive home from school or to walk home from school. You wouldn't do it now because school is too far from home, and it would be like you were a child from the 50s. But if for some reason you go to Villa Walsh, which is right here at the top of the hill, One or two pedals of the bike, downhill the whole way. What do you think? I wouldn't even have to like push the pedal. Maybe a little bit. Maybe you'll have to, you know, make a couple turns of the pedal on Bailey Hollow. But once you crest that hill and you go downhill, flying. We go. You won't be pedaling. You'll be. You'll be. You'll be pumping the brakes, you won't be pedaling. Flying. I think that might be a stretch though. So if you went to Villa Walsh, we could take you to and from school in about two minutes each day. Or you could drive home in two minutes because you could bike down that hill as fast as a car can drive. <laughs> But if you went to Madison, it would be like a 20 minute ride each way. If we put you on the bus, it would you'd be on the bus for about an hour and a half each day going to school. Because you'd be the first stop on the bus, and then they'd have to pick up all the other kids from Harding that go to Madison High. So after they so if it's normally a 20 minute ride with no stops, now imagine you have to pick up all the kids from Harding that go to Madison High. I don't know if it's exactly an hour and a half, but it's an hour. Yeah. Putting you on the bus. Back of the bus. Well, if you if you would be able to choose whatever seat you want, you wanted because you'd be one of the first people on the bus. <laughs> so, oh my goodness, you would be one of the worst. You'd be in one of the worst spots. Why? Because I think you'd be the first one on the bus. And at the end of the day, you'd be the last one off the bus. You would be one bus driving little girl. You'd have bus butt. By the end of the day, you'd have bus butt. You'd be sitting on your butt all day on a bus. But most, if you're, if you do. What if I have? <laughs> what 
or God forbid you could do your homework. Hey, do you ever see those those the uh, seeing eye dogs downtown? That's where they live, the seeing eye dogs. They live right off here to the right. That's right. They live there and that's where they get trained and then they go down into downtown Morristown and then they learn how to walk in traffic, learn how to go to the lights, learn how to stop, learn how to cross, and then they teach the blind people how to work and how to use the dogs. But the dogs live at the CNI dog right up there on the top of the hill. Alright, now here's the next question. Who who was the first president? Yeah, of course. Pretty good. I like it. I like it. So we are driving through Washington's Valley. Where's Washington Valley? That place that has, that place that has like, like... Well, that's Jockey Hollow. But this is... Jockey Hollow is eh, more or less on the top of the hill. And this is Washington Valley. Like everything, there's a lot of, because way back when the war, and then he became the first president. But when he was in charge of the whole war, there was a winter where he lived in Morristown. So, when he built a cabin. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that was not a cat. Are you talking about a cabin in Jockey Hollow, or are you talking about the house in Morristown, Washington's headquarters? What? right that that's right and and do you know in the okay. movie Beauty and the Beast yeah. do you know the character Gaston yeah. we're on Gaston Road right now it's named after that character in Beauty and the Beast what what do you have here give that to her We're going to Jim Beer Park to ride your bike. What? You thought we were what? That's where we're going. Near Michaela's house? Yes. Come on now. That's what I was telling you before. We're now on Lake Road, Avery. Daddy, tell me what a car passes by and like could go down. Cars passing by. And what are you doing? Trying to scare the cars. Trying to scare the cars? Like Man. Car. So Lake Road, do you know how Lake do you know how old Lake Road is? It's older than grandpa. Lake Road is one of the oldest roads in New Jersey. Oh, it is. Lake Road is one of the oldest roads in Morristown. of the house that it's been rebuilt several times so I think the floor in the basement might be that old maybe not I, maybe they re poured the concrete floor I don't know to answer your question I don't know it says the 1920s but 
there's no way. There's no way. Is the driveway that old? No. Is the driveway only? A driveway only lasts 20 to 30 years, and ours is about 20 years old. What? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Where was this? At like the park. It's like, hi, what's your name? The park we're going to right now? Yeah. The park that was like, like the last park that you went to in your mom's office. Oh, yeah, 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 I remember, I remember. This is a hospital up here to the left. I think there's portions of the hospital where there is a park. I think off to the right here is a park. So this is a hospital for people that don't feel well. For people that are sad or upset, things like that. Why are people upset? I don't know. I don't know. Nope. Uh, you're talking about no, 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 no. You're talking about a totally different area. The the, the the you're talking about the far where we went to that dance recital. Oh, uh, that's a, that's up south of Morristown. That's nowhere near around here. That's, that was in, uh, in, that was way south of Morristown. We're north of Morris, northwest of Morristown right now. Yeah, you guys like. What? Hey, I don't want to cut you off. Let me, uh, but do you remember when we used to take Stella to this dog park up here to the right? Yeah. You don't remember? Oh, wow, you were really little then. There's a really big dog park there, but we stopped taking Stella there because Stella's just a little dog and the big dogs, the big dogs were jumping all over her. So we said, she's too little. So what were you saying? I'm sorry about your splits. I'm sorry for cutting you off. Um, when I was little, I used to think, when I was doing splits, I used to think I could switch feet. Well, why can't you? No, like, like switch, like, like my right leg would my like right leg, go to my left leg. It'll be my left leg. What are you talking about? Uh, I'm not following. I'm not following. I used to think I could switch legs. Like, I thought my right leg was like left Why you think that? Because you're silly. It's silly, that's why. said, remember in Beauty and the Beast, it's, that guy guessed on. You thought it was like that candle. What? You thought it was like that candle. No, I didn't. I thought it was the bad guy in Beauty and the Beast, Gaston. Oh, yeah, yeah. The guy that's, that was trying to kill. He's trying to kill the beast, but most importantly, he was trying to win Belle's hand. But he was very insensitive. He was not Belle's type. But we don't know for sure that, that that Gaston Road isn't named after him, just so you know. I was joking, but 
It's you don't know. Gasson, yes, it is. G-A-S-T-O-N. There's Arthur's where Willie works. We go there, right? Yeah. Hey, look at say bye bye Arthur's. Bye, Arthur's. Daddy. Yes. Stuck in traffic? What are you talking about? I took the back roads where we didn't see a lick of traffic. By the way, speaking of traffic, after we dropped you off this morning, you want to talk about traffic? Yes, there was a ton of traffic. If rush hour. Because it was rush hour and there was a lot of heavy rain, so Route 10 was flooded. Daddy. Yes. It was. Yes. Daddy. Yes, Mary. Why was it flooded? Because we had heavy Daddy. rain this morning. Because. Yes. Bye, bye, Arthur's. Bye, bye, Arthur's. Say it, Mary. Bye, <laughs> bye, Arthur's. Daddy. Daddy. Yes. I thought Mary said this. Bye, bye, Arthur's. I thought Mary. I thought Mary said this. No, thank you. But she said that. When has she ever said no thanks? She says no thank you. She, doesn't she say like no thank you? That's what I say. Well, what does Mary say? catching you because before you said something mean about someone. So you're saying that, that they still have Christmas decorations up. Yes, they do. Do you know what mommy and I call people that leave leave Christmas decorations up for too long? What? Season sleeping. And you know what we call it when they jump the gun on holidays and put Christmas decorations up before Thanksgiving? Come on, you know this answer. Season creeping. Season creepers and season sleepers. See, you still see some people with Christmas decorations up. Still have the wreaths up. Well, I don't, I, I don't really, I don't really care about the wreaths, but I really care about the Santa Claus thing. Well, I care about the wreaths, okay? It matters to me, okay? Well, the Christmas decorations. <laughs> All right, so we are at, this is Jim Fear Park. I don't think you're gonna be able to play on any of the swings or anything because it's very, very wet. So really what we're doing is we're coming down here so you can cruise around on your bicycle, bicycle. Yeah, you saw, you remember when I did those hoops all the way off to the left? Do you remember when I did them or just that I told you I did them? And Wait, Daddy, did you make those ones that have like those circles? I did. I did not do the ones that have the circles. I did the ones that were square over there. Then I did this whole court right here with these two hoops and the lines okay. and the asphalt. Okay. Yes. And this is okay. the Morris Plains okay. pool right up here to the right. We can't go to the pool because we belong to Ginty Pool, so the only other one we can go to is uh, Streeter. Why can't we go to this one? 
Because Morris Plains and Morris Township are two different towns. Man. Hold on. What? Man, it's locked. I wanted to go up and use this court and let you guys ride around, but we'll go down to the one down below. What's that? I don't know. Oh, it's because they don't want people like. Well, I'll tell you. Going in the pool and stuff. Well, I'll tell you one reason why. The pole padding on one of the hoops is gone. <laughs> that could have something to do with it. I think they're worried about people people stealing. The pole pads, one of the pole pads on one of the hoops is gone. Probably definitely somebody stole it. Because these ones are out in the open and if somebody were to steal these, it would be seen. All right, so we're just going to go to that court up there, or we can go down here, and you guys can cruise around on your bikes. Yeah, I feel like going park you can. We just have to be careful. We, we don't get hit by cars, but I'd rather go on one of the courts where nobody's going to bother us. All right, How that's about it. Going that what? How about we going back? With the tennis courts? Yeah. Go park. 